book of Isaiah chapter 26, starting at verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly, it will not behold the majesty of the Lord. <clears throat> I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory. Call Halal Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachak, that's what thumb. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim right on the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwati and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, this is an edifying video. Shalom to the confusion of faith, brethren, join unto the, our ranks. Once again, it's the brother Yawasop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And basically, um, this is a lesson out of. Um, that book, um, or the book, um, Mass Control, um, Engineering Human Consciousness by Jim Keefe, and um, basically, I'm going to start off where we left off on chapter, uh, chapter 9, bear with me, so, Starting page 89, this is chapter 9, subtitled, Dr. Cameron's Chamber of Horrors. Um, it says, in an effort to escape problems having to do with jurisdiction, it's like a jurisdiction, much CIA experimentation during the MK Ultra era was conducted in Canada and in other, and other foreign countries. Early funding early funding so like it, of Canadian experimentation went to James Tyers, who in 1951 had been part of a committee providing oversight on projects Artichoke and Bluebird. Says the Canadian Defense Research Board also provided money to Tyhurst, who did research on the effects of LSD on over 300 patients at Hollywood Hospital in Vancouver. CIA funded research into LSD was also done in Saskatchewan by a Abram Hofer and Humphrey Osman. Another early CIA mind control program in Canada was experimental studies of attitude changes in individuals. Experimental studies of attitude changes in individuals was just like it with contract eight. So lucky with contract X38 given, given to Dr. Donald O. Hebb of McGill University in 1951. Sensory deprivation and isolation and interrogation was researched with the first subjects volunteer university students. After prolonged isolation, many of the subjects researched so like it reached a point where they could no longer distinguish waking from sleep. One of the most macabre series of experiments outside of the Inquisition was funded by the CIA and conducted by Dr. Donald Ewing Carmen, with funds also coming from the Canadian government, the Rockefeller Foundation, and the Gert Chicker. Gert Sitcher Foundation. Cameron has studied at the Royal Mental Hospital in Glasgow 
Scotland under the tutelage of eugenists. Eugenicist Sir David Henderson. He later took over the psychiatric division of the Allen Memorial Institute at McGill University in Montreal, which had been founded with Rockefeller's money. Slovakia. Slovakia. I'm doing a lot. I'm trying to do 15 things at once. So sorry for uh, apologize to the brethren for the pause and um you know bringing the information out. Um, continue. So uh, it says. Um, CIA director Alan Dules called Allen Memorial a good source for human guinea pigs. During the 1950s, Cameron Cameron um, was in anything but a role researcher. He was one of the most influential shrinks of the planet, founding the Canadian Division of the World Federation of Mental Health with his friend, Tavik Stock's Brigadier General John Rawlings Reese. Cameron became president of many major psychiatric organizations, including the Canadian American including the Canadian American and World Psychiatric Organizations. It says Cameron seemingly took the Freemasonic dictum Ordo out KO to heart and set about turning patients, some of them suffering from illness as insignificant as nervousness or mild depression into zombies using a variety of grisly techniques. These included dosing patients with drugs including Thorazine, Nubotal, 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 and Seconol, then giving them amphetamines to wake them up. God damn. Bear with me for a second because just based on that, that's some wicked ass shit. Micah. This is the book of Micah chapter 2 verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. In the morning is like they practice this because it's in the power of their hand. It was in the power of these people's hand to actually experiment on people. <laughs> and that's why, and when you look at the Basically, the um, handiwork of this today, like that song by the the female her, it's abbreviated her H E R. That song, the Lord is coming. You know, she said that we're a generation of basically people depended on drugs and alcohol and all that. When you take tell us, you know, they were just discussing. I forgot what brother brought out the video about, um, you know, with Britain and its Brexit and basically how they. Uh, what was that Boeing and basically like how Boeing is allowed to like inspect their old airplanes <laughs> but you do have two major planes <laughs> plane crashes you know they're like this shit's sick you know what I mean um it says first two and they cover fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away 
So they oppress a man in his house, even a man's heritage. Who are the people that coveted the fields and took these fields by violence from the Native Americans, from Gad, from Reuben, from the people that were originally here? Hell, shit. Issachar, you know, at one point had Mexico. You ever see the movie The Alamo? That shows that, you know, they oppress everybody. That shows you how wicked they is because they not only oppressing Jay, they oppressing their own people just based on this beast ass system that, that they set up. And then, you know, they have stolen our heritage and portraying themselves to be the people of the Lord. I'm going to stop there.